Hey, my name's Nathan, this is the Future Game Show, and what an exciting month it's been for fans have been virtually abused because From Software has released Shadow of the Air Tree, a massive expansion to Elden Ring, which has now become the highest rated video game DLC of all time, which is a huge achievement. I never thought anything would pass that Saints Row DLC where you had to stop an insurrection at Santa's workshop. But it got me thinking about From Software games and why we love them so much. And there's a lot of good reasons for that, but the one I always come back to and find the most fascinating is the fact that From Software are one of the only companies to figure out how to tell an interesting story in the age of the internet. What does that mean? Well, let's flash back to the year that properly kicked off From Software's rise to the top, 2009. A time when video games felt like they were having their edges sanded off. In the quest to make games as cinematic as possible, <laughs> that meant keeping things on tight rails, never letting the player stop to be bored or confused or stuck for more than 30 seconds. Because when you went to see the latest blockbuster in the cinema, it didn't include a four minute scene where Spider-Man wasn't exactly sure which one of the walls was the one he was supposed to climb. One of the biggest games of 2009 was Uncharted 2 Among Thieves which allowed Nathan Drake to explore the world, uncovering lost treasures, and allowed us, as players, to press forward and X. And that was about it. It wasn't so much that games like this were easy, it was that the opportunity to figure things out for yourself, to be lost or confused, seemed like it was going out of fashion. But don't worry, if God forbid you were ever unsure of exactly what to do, a simple Google search revealed a wealth of walkthroughs and guides and hints and tips and tricks to show you exactly which crack in the wall Nathan Drake was supposed to squeeze himself through. But then, there were whispers. Whispers about a game that was originally only going to be released in Japan, but it garnered such a strong word of mouth support that it was making its way elsewhere. A game that was hard, unforgiving, but most importantly, unique. That game was Demon Souls from veteran but little known developers from software and wow what an experience it was. Like a game that had dropped in from another reality. And now look I get the purists who love the original but can we just... Yep, yep that's better, thanks. One that wasn't scared to challenge or confuse us, a game that trusted players to discover things for themselves. Or rather a game that trusted players to discover things for each other. Because it feels like when From Software made Demon's Souls, they were more aware than anyone that we were in an age where everyone was hyper-connected. Where the answer to any question was only a few keyboard taps away. And when you're creating a puzzle for a player, you're not challenging one sole person's mind anymore. You're instead up against the hive mind of every player inevitably working together online. And where developers like Naughty Dog tackled that by making their games as slick and straightforward as possible, From Software decided to push significantly in the other direction, saying, well, if you're all going to work together, we can make something that's so ridiculously deep and so ridiculously dense that you're going to need each other to figure this out. And that's exactly what we got. A game so difficult we all had to share boss tips. A story so dense that we had to talk about theories on Reddit. Characters that were so bizarre that each one of them required their own wiki page just to get through a conversation. We all worked together, putting the effort into understanding Demon Souls unlike any other game we'd ever played. And it's a collaborative effort that's stuck around for pretty much every From Software game since. Things like this. In the original Dark Souls, there's a hidden wall as part of a tree. Hit it and you reveal a chest. Great, about 80% of players are gonna miss it, so it's a fun little treat for those who have aggressive tendencies towards oak. But then, if a player decides to hit the wall behind the chest, they reveal a path down to a brand new area with a brand new boss and a brand new covenant. I mean, what was my boy Miyazaki smoking to think that that was a good idea? I'll tell you what it was. It was faith pure faith that someone out there would do it, that one mad bastard out of a million would, for some reason, take umbrage with a wall behind a chest, behind a wall. And then, then they go and tell everyone online. And we'd all go and check it out because we'd be like, that is mental, I'm dead, what is this? And I'm spouting all this shit, but it's of course a mechanic that's made its way into the actual games themselves. The groundbreaking message system, which has graced pretty much every From Software game since. It's a mechanic in which players can leave each other messages pointing towards 
secrets, treasure, warning them of dangers ahead. But you'll soon learn that the decision to trust these messages is a risk in and of itself, especially after you roll off a cliff thanks to the promise of hidden treasure, only to realise that you've been fooled by a set of words now famous for being the world's first trolling suicide note. But look, this isn't to say that there aren't folks out there who enjoy From Software games blind and can somehow understand the lore without help from a wiki or the beautiful, silky smooth tones of Vati Vidya. To get some answers in the shadow of the Erd Tree. But I love that I need to. That I need a laptop or a phone nearby to check what this item does or who this character is. I need to talk to folk to figure out things about my build or read someone's mad outside of the box strategy for beating the boss that's led to me breaking as many controllers as I have fingers. Look, I'm not a man who plays multiplayer games, I'm not a COD or Fortnite or PUBG lover, but From Software games make me feel like I'm experiencing an adventure with a community of people. And it's no secret that the worlds and characters and stories of From Software games are so loved because they have a richness and depth that comes from not being afraid to limit themselves for our immediate understanding. Because ultimately, no matter how confusing these games are, From Software are confident in us as players working together to figure it out ourselves. Hey, thank you very much for watching, especially if you got all the way to the end. If you haven't hated this, then why not check out the playlist of all my other videos, taking a look at all the hot topics in the world of gaming. And I tell you what, why not even consider subscribing to the FGS channel? Go on, you won't regret it. Much.